So this question is a translate word problem question. I know that given the length of the question, TWP questions are typically four or more lines long. Um, the whole idea with TWP strategy is that you do not read the entire question all the way through. Instead, you stop at the end of each sentence, write down any quantitative information, and just kind of generally make sure you understood what you read in the first in the sentence you just finished reading prior to moving on to the next sentence. So the first sentence here says, in 1976, there were approximately 1,000 gray wolves in northern Minnesota. So I'm going to write that quantitative information down. 1976, 1,000 gray wolves. Next sentence, the number of gray wolves in northern Minnesota in 2008, so we have another year provided, was 190% greater than in 1976. Okay, so let's figure out what this should be. So 190% greater than in 1976 means, first of all, you had the amount that you had in 1976, and you're adding to that 190% more. So in order to, you know, a percentage means nothing without its base value, right? So 190% more means I'm going to take that same 1,000 and multiply that by 1.9. 1.9 is the decimal equivalent of 190%, right? It's kind of like if I said you had 20% and I asked for the decimal equivalent, you would move the decimal to the left twice and say, well, that's the same as 0 0.2. Well, 190%, the decimal equivalent, you'd also move the decimal to the left twice, and that would be 1.9. So this 1,000 times 1.9 represents 190% of 1,000. Right, and the plus just means like that represents the greater part, right? So we we have what we started off with, and we're increasing that by one hundred and ninety percent. So what is our value? We have a thousand, and then one point nine times one thousand is just one thousand nine hundred. So altogether, that's going to be two thousand nine hundred gray wolves. And you see, here's the beauty of this strategy. All right, I haven't finished reading the question. But I'm taking that sentence and saying, well, you gave me this information, and I need to now work with it and figure out exactly what it means. So I know now that what I have for 2008 was 2,900 gray wolves. Next sentence, approximately how many gray wolves were in northern Minnesota in 2008? Perfect. Already did, I already did the math for that. I already know it's 2,900. Therefore, the answer is choice C.